morning everybody welcome back to the channel so I just wanted to show you this field this is uh, part of our oat failure so our low seed direct affected two blocks one which we re-drilled with spring wheat and the other one which it has a bad black grass history last year last spring I showed you a really thick mass of black grass so we decided not to uh, re-drill using the opportunity to achieve more black grass control so this is sort of the surface how it looks like what it looks like now and as you can see sort of tender black grass plants coming through so as far as surface goes it's quite a, a shallow crumb that we've developed here We've been through with the carrier in the dry. Um, again, sort of two to three inches here. And uh, obviously with lots of cracking this year, plenty of uh, movement to depth. Yes, good dog. Um, so, and since then we've, after the carrier, we stubble raked in the dry and we've rolled it now uh, this used to be our farm standard system uh, before we went complete direct drilling and as you can see it's a very fine seed bed a lot of people would say too fine for a conventional system I tend to agree with them it's not very weather safe if you've got a heavy rain on this it would go down hard but because effectively we're running with direct drills all you're really creating is a direct drilling system so uh, we've got the machinery to cope with this as far as uh, weather goes and um, the benefit is of this super fine seedbed is that you get efficacy from your pre-emergent herbicides so that's why we've used it in the past and as I said this particular block is conventional you've got a really difficult situation controlling the black grass so um, efficacy is really important however one big consideration at the moment is the dryness of the soil and obviously pre-ems work best um, when there's a bit of moisture and there is still no moisture in the soil so I think we'll be chancing our arm a little bit chancing our luck weather and waiting for the next rain event before we drill this because it's had a year's break as a fallow we you know we're, we're looking for a big yield root to compensate and we would like to drill early uh, however i'm very conscious i don't want to drill that early in dry conditions and have no efficacy when the whole reason we or in a fallow in the first place is because of a lot of black grass. Morning everybody, a very uh, sunny Sunday morning. Uh, so this is, uh, as you can see, it's quite a long thin field. It's one of the fields that we actually have on uh, special measures due to uh, it seeming to be underperforming. And so I was just out here this morning trying to, just having a look, seeing if I could get any insights. And I just wanted to share a quick observation with you. Here's a is a relatively strong vetch for this field and some nice phacelia. If we go to a thinner section of the field, you can see a bit of a gap here. Down here, a small vetch. nice facelia there but generally the vetches are a lot smaller in the weaker parts of the field so one conclusion I've started I'm starting to come to is vetch okay so vetch a legume here we've got a mix of mustard and uh, soil radish that's the one in here interesting you can see a fair amount of flea beetle damage the shot marks in the leaves not that we're worrying about that but getting back to vetch 
very noticeable as far as I'm concerned that vetch seems to be a very accurate measure of soil health it only seems to really establish where soil health is good um, and it can really the difference can be massive uh, so um, I've actually got a field closer to home where there's a, long, a split between a long-term arable field and a historical grass field uh, cover crop establishment chalk and cheese this is a stronger bit of field you can see here a nice bit of phacelia vetch coming on nicely and you've got your mustard and then your sort of tillage radish type thing it doesn't take long so we go we've got the hedge there good establishment bang long term arable here it doesn't matter really where you walk there are patches of stronger soil that you can see here a bit lot thinner mostly weeds and then look this this is the vetch really quite um, thin really it's just another good example of how conventional inputs mask soil degradation and how you don't actually see it it's only when you remove the crutch that you realize how degraded soils are um, but it's helpful that we seem to have a plant the vetch which really does tell you is the best thing i found yet to tell me sort of what state my soil are in soils are in straight away but getting back to this field i don't know if you can see it up to here we've got this line in here where coming down here where you can see the brassicas above the stubble then it kind of drops off a bit and uh, you know obviously where it's been run down a bit more you can see it however if we backtrack to about here the brassicas completely or nearly completely disappear bit of a strip down there and as you can see the brassicas start start about here and then you know, they're really good there so I'm going to nip home and have a look at the yield map to see if there's any sort of relationship between yield and what we're seeing as far as the establishment of these cover crops but using um, vetch as an indicator would indicate that this end of the field is certainly uh, has an issue um, it could be it this particular field is a sort of clay loam o over chalk it's in the bottom of a quite a significant chalk valley and i'm wondering if this might be a bit of clay cap at this end of the field um, i'll also see if we've got any variable rate p and k ph maps and just see if that can shine any light on this field too so uh, again just having that extra bit of time to go out and observe your fields see what the plants are telling you uh, a bit like that video a couple of weeks ago with the wet spot in the field no recol no recollection and i went back through past yield data never seen it appearing before in a conventional system but because you haven't got the crutch of uh, fertilizer to support um, these weaker bits of the field this suddenly you really begin to see differences in a low input regenerative system and so it's worth spending some extra time crop walking just trying to draw observations from what you see now actually i've just walked down the field same field i'm about 250 meters further on first observation i make is that got a really good even distribution of cover crop now um, one thing that I was looking at was um, so this is like some sort of a radish brassica type thing and this this bit more aggressive is the um, mustard but I was just looking at the flea beetle very little flea beetle attack in this sort of healthy inverted commas a nice bit of vetch there for celia underneath 
coming back to the point about the vetch being a measure of soil health so this is just a random bit of the field I've stopped in we've got one two three four five all in about a square foot and also you can just see just there's a lot more green material here yeah okay weeds yes but the whole field is a lot more greener than the previous patch so yeah it kind of indicates to me that there must be something it can't I, it is a high, higher clay content here so it will have more moisture retention but this is this is something greater than just um just sort of moisture retention there is something uh you know my money would be on ph but we'll see so thank you for watching please uh, give the video a thumbs up click on subscribe click on the little bell for notifications of when our next video goes live see you next time bye